is a child environmental activist from India. She is one of the youngest climate activists globally and has addressed world leaders at the United Nations Climate Change Conference 2019 in Madrid, Spain. Lissi Priya has been campaigning for climate action in India since 2018 to pass new laws to curb India's high population levels and to make climate change literacy mandatory in schools. Ladies and gentlemen, Lissi Priya Kanguji, climate activist. Very warm welcome to you, Lissi Priya Kanguji. And our next um, panelist will be um, representing Mumbai Mangrove Conservation Unit, uh, Adarsh Reddy. Uh, the next question is to Lissi Priya, our youngest member and uh, with very mature shoulders and a passion for environment. Lissi, how are you today? I'm fine, thank you sir. Thank you for joining us today. Welcome sir, it's my honor to be here with you all today. So can you share with us how climate change impacted your life and what you want our leaders to do to solve the crisis? First of all, thank you so much sir and Rajiv for having me here today in this wonderful program. And hi everyone, I'm Ms. Priya and uh, I'm an Indian climate activist and the founder of the Child Movement. Well, climate change is not only for me or for you or for someone else. Climate change problem is for every single person living in this world. Each and every child living in this country, living in this world, are already the victims of climate change. That's why I'm fighting to save our planet and our future. I have born in Panapu, which is a small, beautiful, northeastern state of India, water with Myanmar, and uh, it is full of lush green mountains and alluring atmosphere. Uh, it is full of rich biodiversity, but any biodiversity hotspots are becoming climate hotspots now. But I have grown up in Bhubaneswar, Odisha, for my schooling. My home in Odisha was hit by Sakhar in 2019 and Sakhar in 2019 and Sakhar was in 2018, sorry. And um, because of that such incidents, I have, been, I have been to Delhi and again my life became very messy due to the high air pollution level there. So all such incidents I met in my young life turns me into a child climate activist. Our country, India, is facing lots of environmental issues like floods, droughts, heat waves, cyclones, locusts, forest fire, etc. at the same time. So these are all the impact of climate change. Our leaders need to take urgent climate action now to save our planet and our future. We want clean air to breathe, clean water to drink, and clean land to live. That's all I want to tell to our leaders. Thank you, Lissy. We all know that March recorded amongst the highest temperatures in the last century for India, I think, uh, at the average temperatures. And of course, you've been reading about the declaration of heat waves across India week after week, which is so unusual, so early on in the summer. But that's, that's where we are. And uh, Lissi expounded that and initiated on that beautifully. Thanks, Lissi. Uh, Adarsh, blue carbon ecosystems like mangroves are more effective. Thank, Thank you. you. Lissi, we see you protesting in front of the parliament a number of times. Mm -hmm. Why do you protest there and have you achieved anything from the government as a result of these protests? Uh, when I was just around six years old, I got a chance to attend one United Nations disaster conference in Mongolia. Uh, and I met many world leaders, great scientists, experts, policy makers, 
and many times after this year. It was a life-changing event for me. And after returning back from Mongolia in July 2018, I have started our own organization called the Child Movement to call the world leaders to take immediate climate action as soon as possible to save our planet and our future. In the Parliament House of India, I'm standing and I'm telling you our Honorable Prime Minister of India, Mr. Narendra Modi ji, and all the MPs there to pass the climate change law as soon as possible from the paper to become action. And also, I have three main demands to our leaders. First, to pass the climate change law as soon as possible at the Parliament. If they pass this climate change law, then it would help to control the carbon emissions and also the greenhouse gases. Second, to include climate education mandatory in every school education curriculum. If they include a climate education mandatory in every school curriculum, then it would help to fight the climate change from the grassroots and it would also help to teach our world leaders by their own children and grandchildren because they can't believe in science and climate change is real. Third is to plant minimum 10 trees by each student in India and also in the world. In India, there are uh, 350 million students. If 350 million students plant minimum 10 trees every year, then we would plant minimum uh, 3.5 million trees. So trust me, India will be green in after 5 to 10 years. Yeah. And uh, you see, I have been requesting many governments of the world, even governments of many states of India, to include climate education compulsory in every school education curriculum for the last four years. And uh, I took many risks by testing uh, uncountable times in various places of the world, uh, including the Parliament House of India. And I'm now very happy to see that entirely USA, UK, and many European countries have started teaching climate education in their school education curriculum and even in many states of India. Secondly, I, would, uh, I have protested in the midnight in front of the President's House of India to make a new law to curb the Delhi's high air pollution level. And finally, President of India has made a new law to curb the Delhi's high pollution level by signing an ordinance. Lastly, I would like to tell you all that Delhi University has made every student there plant minimum one tree to pass the final examinations. That's all. Thank you. So Adarsh, do you think the devastation caused by cyclones like Amphan, Tokte, Yas, Street, uh, to Lissi, uh, a very young in age. Yeah, right. What, 10 years old? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what gives you hope to fight against climate change? Well, I have a dream where there are more bicycles on roads instead of more motor vehicles. I have a dream where there are no coal power plants and thermal power plants and replace it by clean solar energy. I have a dream where all the children living in this world have the clean air to breathe, clean water to drink, and a clean plant to live. Ask me clean air to breathe, clean water to drink, and clean plant to live is all our basic rights. Many people told me that you are too young to get involved in such activism, but I proved them that Age doesn't matter to make a difference. <laughs> yeah. So what do you think? Do you have a special message to our Rotarians here? Yes, of 
course. Uh, first of all, let me finish those sentences. Sure. Yeah, thank you so much. Like, uh, many people told me that you are too young to get involved in such activism, but I proved them that age doesn't matter to make a difference. I'm big or small, it doesn't matter. I'm a girl child who strongly believes that all the children can lead the change. So this all gives me hope to fight for our planet and for our future. And also, uh, I have a small message to all the children of your world. Children must tell the parents that the shoe clock if it's nearby or they can use the bicycle for short distances or they can use the public transport like buses and metros for long distances. And please don't use single-use plastic at your homes and please don't throw plastic or garbage at streets, oceans, rivers, seas or any other places. And, and also our little things can make a huge difference. Give it up for us. We all know that we are facing a pandemic on one side and floods, droughts, heat waves, cyclone, locusts, forest fires, etc. on the another side. So now, this is the time to wake up. This is the time to open up our eyes. This is the time to send your children and grandchildren to fight for their own survival and for their own future. The best gift parents can get to their children it's not a beautiful house, expensive cars, or a lot of money. The best gift parents can give to their children is a beautiful green planet. Thank you, Lizzy. Okay, so we have two more questions, and uh, I request uh, Sunil to uh, try and answer this in two minutes if you can. UN has declared uh, 21 to 30, 2021 to 2030 as the decade of ecosystem restoration. Could you, in this context, summarize the role of the industry sector? Sorry about this, but I'm afraid for today we have run out of time, and I want to thank all of our panelists, uh, Sudhir, Adarsh, and Lissi Priya, for being here with us today. Ladies and gentlemen, give them a big round of applause. Thank you so much. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, District Governor Elect Sandeep, and thank you all your distinguished panelists.